Is your camp table and chair setup giving you the blues? Ours certainly was, so we set off on a search to find something better. Coming up, we review the Nemo Stargaze Recliner Luxury Chair and the Tailgater Tire Table. Hey, what's up everybody? We're down here at the river because we finally scored a new table and chairs like we've been looking for. And we want to tell you all about them because they are so cool. So we're going to start with the table. You may remember from our previous video, we were trying to figure out what kind of table we needed. We went without a table completely and that did not work out at all. Getting food in and out of the fridge while you're cooking is not really an option. So you either have to prep ahead of time. I don't know. Maybe we do need a table. That could be what's going on here. So we got a new table. You saw what we were working with before. And while our table has been great, it's been with us through a lot of things. In fact, I built a transfer case on top of it. I don't know about this table, man. <laughs> so It's pretty sturdy, but that means it's heavy and we're trying to go lightweight. So we got a new table and we are pretty excited about it. We wanna share it with you. As far as our chairs, we have tried several different chairs over the years and we've got the standard one that everybody has. Then we tried one with more cushion. <laughs> but they just suck. Eventually all chairs suck. So we were talking with some people and stumbled across the chairs that they use and holy cow, we had to get them. So we're gonna talk about the upgrades that we did to both our table and our chairs. For our table, we decided to go with the tailgater tire table and for our chairs we picked out the Nemo Stargazer recliner luxury check these bad boys out so to start this off Nob's gonna be unboxing the tailgater tire table let's get this bad boy opened up <clears throat> really the big seller on this table was the ability to get it in aluminum you know we're not trying to like put anything like a transfer case on this table even though it is good for about one transfer case they were good for 50 pounds or so. This thing is relatively simple to set up. These come out like this. And then they stick back in here. Lock hole. Lock hole. is the leg. And then just another thumb screw for that leg there. And that's pretty much that. So these little, the, the arms here, there's actually some grip tape on here. So that will grip into the edge of your tire. And then once you get this thing stood up, you can, if you want to, press this back and tighten those things down even more. So that's our table now. Here come the chairs. What, what, what is this? What is this? I'm like, here comes rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> so with size and weight in mind with everything in this truck, you can see this is the chair that I had been using. And you can see size wise, this is like almost the size of both of these put together. No, we're pretty close. Flip of that is, this was having to lie down in the truck, takes up a whole bunch of room. It's really kind of too tall to store in the vehicle that way, where these may or may not be necessary, but we could store this way. So you can see that will be relatively short in the back of the truck there if we wanted to stand it up. <clears throat> Sits underneath the seat, so it's not impairing your vision if we have to do it that way. So what's in the box? Yeah right so we've already unpacked one of the chairs nemo does an excellent job from the factory of wrapping these chairs up really well we'll show you when we look at what's in the box what's in the box so they come with these little nice little bags i think what do they say these weigh like five pounds or something like that it's six six pounds they hold 300 pounds this is what she looks like the frame is all one piece it's all together and it snaps in like 10 pull cords. And there's your cover. So that's what you get in the box, two pieces, right? 
super simple. So once you take all that paper and zip ties and all that other good stuff off of there, you come out of the frame just like this. And this thing will basically almost set itself up. Look at that. Bam. So really nothing tricky going on with this guy. We have these two poles that go in the back here, one on either side, and it just tucks up into this little pocket here. Just pull that up by the tab and tuck it in. Tuck it in, just tuck, tuck it in. Tuck it in like that. Same thing with the other side. And that's your chair set up. So now, this just simply sits on here. You have these buckles and this is a sliding lock. Okay, both sides. So this goes on here. So this just slips over here like that and then gravity will lock that in. Oh yeah. So, hold here. These may or may not be good for super drunk people but they are good for chilling. Not that we promote cell phones while you're camping, but this could be maybe for your whiskey flask or your book, your cribbage table, board. your playing cards, dog toys. You can put your weed in it. <laughs> so we're pretty stoked about our new chairs. I wanna show you a little bit more about it cause it's pretty cool. Today our lovely model knob will be demonstrating the Nemo Stargaze Recliner Luxury Chair. Lots of words, lots of luxury. It's called the luxury because it has a higher back. It also has an adjustable pillow. Down below with pockets, the pocket on the left can fit a 40 ounce Hydro Flask. The pocket on the right, well, we've already told you what you can do with that. Most importantly, in a chair called the Stargaze, it better be good when you lean back to look at the stars. So tell us, Knob, how does it feel? It's awesome. For purposes of this video, we're sitting together with the chair and tables. In real life, this is where our camp stove is gonna go. The prep table will be the tailgate around the corner with the refrigerator, and our chairs will be off to the side somewhere else, right. next to the river or by the fire or wherever else. We won't actually be sitting like this, which is good because I feel like a kindergartner looking across the table <laughs> at you. <laughs> well, I but, mean, you could just like scoot your head off the table like that. Though. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to go minimalist, but we still will be using silverware. <laughs> so this is our table and chair setup. This is the tailgater tire table. If you want to get one of your own, locally, Mike's Custom Toys got us ours, so you can check with them on where to get one. As far as these chairs, we've got a link below where you can go check these out for yourself. These tables are available in aluminum as well as steel. Uh, we went with the aluminum table just because we saved a few pounds on it, and it won't ever rust or anything like that, so that is a big seller on the aluminum. This is going to be primarily for a little bit of extra storage and for the stove and just you know what do we save over 20 pounds between this table and that other table. That should be pretty decent for any of your stove stuff, your food prep, your lanterns. You could play like card games and stuff here if you wanted. If you had a reasonable size tire obviously your table is going to be a little bit lower so keep that in mind as well. <laughs> that is true. Space and weight lighter faster lighter and faster. So if you or your loved ones also suffer from a Toyota addiction like we do Look us up and let's go wheeling together wherever you are. We're going to be living in this setup full time and if you want to go wheeling with us, you can get all the details in this video here. Also check us out on Instagram and our website and our newsletter. Peace! <laughs> and this table is really heavy. It is the table. It is the table. <laughs> it is a table. <laughs>